Okay, guys, welcome to Midweek Message Reveal, Wednesday, December 20th. All right, so there's a thing called the Galactic Center, which is the essentially a huge black hole in the center of our galaxy. And the sun, the earth, and the Milky Way is kind of traversing through this center point of the Galactic Center, okay? And this energy is with us from the 18th through the 23rd. And that's when the sun is actually traveling through the center of our galaxy to the zero point, which is causing a lot of physical sensations that you might be experiencing on top of the fact that we have the solstice on the 21st tomorrow, which is the longest night of the year for those of us in the Northern hemisphere and the longest day for those in the Southern hemisphere where they will be moving into summer and we will officially be moving into winter in the Northern hemisphere. So we have that situation happening as well, which is its own portal, which we will experience um, a couple days after as well. And then we are moving from Sagittarius season into Capricorn season on Thursday, as well as moving with a full moon in Cancer on Tuesday. We've got lots of feels happening here. So if you are feeling physical sensations like tiredness, maybe you're having some earaches, some face pain, if you're feeling a sense of anxiety out of nowhere, having trouble sleeping, um, and also just dealing with the fact that we are in Mercury retrograde, <laughs> which is happening starting in Capricorn and then moving through Sagittarius, which will complete on New Year's Day. Um, the holidays are extra this year, as they are anyways. In this economy, anyway. <laughs> so if you're feeling feels, just know that so is everyone else. So first off, give everyone a break. Um, also, for those of you who are out and working during these holiday times. I see you, I hear you, I feel you, I am one of you. So thank you for everyone's service through getting everyone through the holiday time with a smile on their face. Um, because that is its own, it's its own thing. Everyone's trying their best, you know, whether you are part of the, you know, the public, or if you are working in a service industry for others, or if you are um, you know, working in the medical field or whatever, just existing as a human on this plane. Forgive all the outside noises. <laughs> it's very loud. Um, there's a lot that's happening here with humanity. Like everyone's trying to do their best. And with all of the energetic shifts that are occurring and the influences that are outside of us that we can't really affect, um, change upon, we can only receive, we're doing a lot on the, in the insides, whether it's um, emotionally, spiritually, physically, there's a lot that's happening. So Give yourself a break and give others a break as best you can and understand that everyone is kind of at a weird sort of spot and we're doing our best. Okay, so that's the main message here. Um, I chose some animal cards for this week because I feel like we, you know, maybe need a sort of totem to look towards. So those can be the focus here. All right, so I'm going to jump into the cards. So group one, if you chose one, the card is donkey. What a sweetheart. Now, I'm really drawn to the light that's at the center of the chest of, of the animal here. And it's more that there's a heart expansion that's happening for you, one. Um, and the card itself says, keep your heart open no matter what. So you're encountering some difficulties at this time. You're kind of going through some hardships. And like a donkey, you're kind of labored with all of the work that you've had to do and the things that you've had to carry. And you're getting to a point where you're kind of like, is this worth it? When is, when is it going to pay off? Now, understand that the payoff is not something necessarily that's going to just be handed over easily as you've experienced. This is something you've been waiting for. Um, but you will be paid in kind and will be compensated for the efforting that you've had to go through thus far. It's just not going to show up in the way that you want. And the more that you're looking for the end results, the further out it's going to seem. So if you can kind of stick in the present moment and allow yourself to kind of recoup a little bit and relax because rest is going to be the most important thing for you at this time. And, you know, donkeys, see them as stubborn animals, not in, not in the slightest here. They are truly the ones who, who carry the load, and it's a lot of different loads. Um, I also feel, too, that there's, like, emotional kind of caregiver fatigue that might be happening here with you as uh, one as well. So take some time for yourself because you can't you can't give from an empty cup. You can't fill anyone else. You can't help anyone else to the capacity that you think you can if you're constantly depleting yourself. So give yourself uh, some of your attention, please. All right, moving on to two. Two, you chose two. 
Your card is dolphin. Live joyfully in the present. So dolphin energy is always just so playful and they were truly just straight up aliens. Um, a lot coming through with the solar plexus and the yellow here as well as the blue with the throat and connection to communication. So there needs to be more time for you to express yourself in a way where you're actually going to be enjoying what's happening now. So similar to one where you're kind of in the, you're kind of stuck in the space that you're in, hoping for the payoff, you're at the point now here too, where what you're looking to do is be recognized for some of the things that you've efforted on, but also being acknowledged by others in your friend group or family group for some of the things that you bring to the table. Um, and some of this is also for you to have an opportunity to celebrate a little bit in the accomplishments that have already come this far. It's almost like this is a progression of those of you in two have just kind of come through a space that one is currently in where we've acknowledged that something's up and it's almost over. And now in two, you're looking for the rewards and the, the break, the space, the reprieve. And understand that thinking too far into the future and trying to plan this out and how this is going to look too, it's not going to be as clear cut as you would like. So releasing the how is definitely needed here and staying in the present moment is the key. So what can you really acknowledge and be grateful for right now that will allow you to open up some space around needing to see what's coming next? There's a sense of wanting control and wanting to be almost soothed by validation from others. Really what you're going to want to do is kind of get more into the social field where you can have a little bit more lightheartedness and some space. So where can you kind of enjoy the space that you're in too and be in that playful zone like the dolphin and know that the intuition is always going to come at the right moment without having to worry about the when or the how. All right, moving on to three. Group three, if you chose three, your card is ladybird or ladybug, okay? Accept happiness and good fortune. So you've moved through a space here, and this is kind of how the cards go lately, I've noticed, especially when people pick multiple cards throughout the week. So you're in a, I've been working and doing and doing, and I'm ready for my reward. Where is it? I don't know how much longer I can go. I've completed the thing, and I deserve a good time, but I don't know how to give that to myself because I feel guilty for not putting out more effort. When do I get to have fun? And the last group being three now the fortune is on its way can i accept it and receive it in a space that is of gratitude and alignment that allows me to share with others and be an example to how you should receive good abundance and good fortune into your world all right so ladybugs ladybirds or whatever um what's that What's that, that nursery rhyme with the ladybugs? Ladybug, ladybug, fly away home. Something about your children are gone and your house is on fire or something. It's like really trippy and kind of, um, kind of dark. This is more about whenever you see ladybugs, you know, it's good luck. It's even this little guy that's kind of floating away on a dandelion little tuft, little seed, is making its way with hope that it will be carried to the right destination. So don't worry about how it's going to come to you. Just know that what is meant for you can't pass you by. So you need to stay into a space of receptivity. And some of it is that the lessons that you've learned up to this point and the things that you're waiting for as far as a return on your investment here and for the abundance to come through for you three is really about getting yourself into a space that you deserve everything that's coming to you, that you're allowed to have all of the things that you want and that you're able to receive them without feeling guilty or shameful or um, feeling like you need to validate yourself or say you're good or bad in order for you to receive. So accept that happiness and good fortune and pay it forward by accepting it willingly because other people are watching you and seeing how you're going to handle this. Okay, so those are the messages this week. Wishing everyone happy holidays. Um, midweek message will, will be after, obviously, Christmas next week. 
So wishing you all the best for you and your family, however you celebrate, whatever it is that you do this season, just know that I appreciate you and your support. Would love to hear how this landed for you. So please leave me some feedback. If you're interested in working with me for a private session, private reading, please check my website. Da -da 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 -da. And I will check everybody later. All right. Happy holidays. Peace.